Simon, uh, most county players at the start of a new season, their main objective is to do better than last season, but you had quite a remarkable last season, so w where do you go from here? Uh, well, obviously towards the end of last year, things went well for me, mm. um, so I think the main aim for me this year is to try and kick on from that, try and stick, try and get a, a place in the first team and try and, mm. try and stamp, my, stamp my place on it really. I think you got 24 wickets in four games, didn't you? Something yeah. like that. I mean, that's going to take some emulating, isn't it? Yeah, well, like I say my main aim is just to try and get a place in the starting 11 and try and hold it for the season and then hopefully form there, I'll, I'll, I'll do okay. You, you've been away with the Lions, haven't you, to Bangladesh? Yeah. Uh, can you tell us what that was like? It was a really good experience. Um, it's tough conditions, too, and like that, so it's a good opportunity to see what it's like and see the challenges that, that you face. And, and it was all one day cricket over there as well, which I haven't played too much of. So it, it made me think about a few, few things in my one day game, and it was good developing that way. Um, I'm guessing as a spinner, playing in Bangladesh is, is quite, well, it's quite good conditions for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but then also you've got to think that their batsmen are, are used to facing spinners they, every day, and mm. they're used to the netting on them conditions and playing matching them conditions. So that's the other challenge. They play it slightly different to the way sort of your spinners will play it over here. So. That's a, that was a, one of the challenges as well. And, and how do you think it's going to be? Uh, last year everybody went on about Lancashire's first title in 77 years. This will be starting as the champion county. How do you think that will be? Um, well, I think, obviously, there's a bit of pressure off, off us now as a club. But, again, you don't want it to be a sort of one-off incident as winning a trophy. So I think we want to, want to be challenging in all three competitions and hopefully have a bit of luck and try and push for the title in one of them. And towards the end of the season in particular, you, you developed a really good partnership with Gary Keady, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, are, are you hoping that, that can sort of develop as well? Because Gary agreed to stay with the club, yeah. hasn't he? So. Well, yeah, like you say, me and Keady bowled well in partnerships last year, and I think that's a, a key strength that when me, me and him are bowling well and you've got seamers like Chapel and Hogg, there's not really much release, release like if we're all firing, so I think that's it's a, it's a good strength to have and hopefully we can carry on what we were doing last, last year. And, and, and do you, as a cricketer, some cricketers set targets, don't they, each, each year? Do you, do you set yourself a target of number of wickets or anything like that? Um, not really wickets-wise, but I think just performances, trying to, like I said, uh, I'm just trying to get into the first team and perform well enough to stay in the first team. I think that's my main goal for the year. Did, did you work with anybody in particular when you were away with England? Um, well, there's lots of specialist coaches out mm. there who are really good to work around, so there's... Peter Such, who was working with the spinners, Nasha Giles was out there for a bit, and on the batting side you had Graham Thorpe, who's obviously a world-class player. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, one morning you're waking up and you're thinking, going out to breakfast, and Graham Thorpe's sat there and you're thinking, watched him play cricket all your life. So you have to pinch yourself a little bit there. Yeah. Did did the, did the spin coaches pass on anything in particular that you needed to work on or anything? Well, just they have got a lot of experience behind them and they've got a lot of a lot of first class and international wickets as well. So it's it's good just listening to their general thoughts on on what they do and what what you maybe could do and it's just not really any sort of specific stuff, it's just general feedback really. And, and I presume just by being away with a, a sort of England party that you'll have benefited from that experience really. Yeah it's really good being around sort of new faces and getting a taste of what it what it's like around that sort of environment and I've made a lot of friends out of it so it was a great experience.